Hi Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dean, and I'm going to be doing a very, very special, very rare reading for you, a new moon hybrid solar eclipse reading that we will not see again for another eight years. So I'm very excited to bring this to you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. It really helps this channel grow. It really helps me out tremendously. So thank you so much for doing so. If you're interested in any of the cards that I'm using, they will all be listed in the description box below. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds, letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So let's see the energy we need to be mindful of during this time. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is the Ace of Swords reverse. So this is something very biting that is being said. This is something caustic. You know, it is, the Ace of Swords is a gift, right? A gift from God, Source, Spirit, however you see the divine, the universe. But here it doesn't feel like a gift. There's something that we're becoming aware of that feels very negative. It will wind up being positive later on down the road. But right now, it's going to be kind of a hard pill to swallow. So just be, just be aware of this, or it's going to be very frustrating. Let's see what spirit has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Here we have clarity reversed, meaning that a lot of things right now aren't going to seem as clear as they should be. We have a lot of questions or we're looking for that clarity. We're searching for that clarity. That makes a lot of sense. So one of the most powerful things, or one of the very powerful things to come forward during this time with this new moon and the solar eclipse, it brings a strong questioning energy to us. You know, what is my purpose? Why am I here? What's right for me? What, where am I going? What am I doing? Is this it, you know, type of energy? And we can be very sensitive. If we're sensitive, okay, if we're sensitive, this can make us very sad. This can make us very overwhelmed, or this can just make us very sensitive. It depends on our empathic ability. Okay. So here we're searching for clarity, but we don't feel like there's a lot of clarity because we have so many questions. So much is coming up. So be, be aware of this. We might actually be getting a lot of clarity during this time, but because everything is so intense and we're, we're, you know, kind of muddling through so much, it's, it's harder to see. It's harder to to understand. And we just need to be a bit aware of that and a bit kinder with ourselves because of that. Now let's see, sorry, let's see what the cards have to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Very interesting. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands reversed. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Devil reversed. We have the World reversed. And we have Justice in the upright position. So very interesting, very powerful time for us. We have to be mindful here, Capricorn, not to get in our own way. We're represented by the Devil in the Major Arcana, which I always think is rather rude for Capricorn. So just be aware of this. <laughs> but we have here the sense that we can get in our own way. We want the rules, we want the structure, or we're fighting against the rules and the structure of things. Yeah. For okay, what Spirit is showing me is that we want the rules and the structure, like things done just a certain way. 
but we're also going to be fighting against other rules and other structures. So be aware of this, that we have like our own set of rules that we want to follow and not somebody else's. Be mindful that we can get in our own way during this time over analyzing, questioning, you know, pushing back on the blessings that come forward. It's like, no, I, I can't have that yet. And Spirit's like, why? Why not? Because the Ace of Wands is right here. And this is a fire sign energy time where we have the new moon in Aries. We have the sun in Aries. There's a gift of passion and creativity that's coming to us. We're, we're kind of not ready for it quite yet. We're, we're questioning it. We're looking at it. We're saying, ooh, you know, how do I move forward this way? What is this? How do I embrace what I'm passionate about, what I desire? Just know that there are questions coming up. The new moon is in 29 degrees of Aries. So let's talk about the astrology of this all because this energy of this time will be be with us for the next six months. It's going to be affecting our consciousness, our world, and it will even, you know, kind of move into, the energy will bleed into 2024. The new moon, as I said before, is in 29 degrees of Aries. And the final degrees of any sign, which is 30 degrees or lower, is always the most intense. This is a very powerful make it happen sign, like very powerful make it happen time. New starts, you know, determination, focus, energy that is just like build it, create it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But we have to beware of the angry warlike side of Aries wanting to take over because it's going to. And we can see this in people. This is a time where like we can hold grudges. We can hold grudges until the end of our existence. They can start now and last for forever. We can just be angry. We can just be annoyed. We can just be frustrated. We can just be sad. It's okay. It's okay to know that we're having very big emotions during this time, very intense emotions during this time that can just be knocking us for a loop. I, I felt them myself. It's like, what the heck is going on? Then I remember this moon. Then I remember the solar eclipse. And it's like, oh, that's what's going on. But Aries is also absolutely a wonderful energy to be in. It is courageous. It is brave. It is independent. It is individual. It is really, you know, a sense of owning ourselves. We are tending to get in our own way during this time. So just know that that's one of the main things during this time, Capricorn, that we can take away. It's like, I have to own my world, myself, what I desire, what I want. Okay. We have to be mindful of the angry bullying side of Aries shining through in our own lives, in other people's lives that affect us. So be aware of that. Now, this rare and powerful hybrid solar eclipse is a wild card. It propels our timeline beautifully, but it takes us for a ride. It, it takes us for a loop. It's like something comes out of the blue, knocks us off the course we thought we were heading towards or we thought we were heading down and opens up our world in a way that we just didn't expect. So we need to be kind of prepared for, for the wild card time because this is a wild card time. With the solar eclipse being conjunct the North Lunar Node, this is a very positive, this denotes a very positive jumpstart into our future. And that is awesome. The solar eclipse also brings this strong ending energy. Okay, things are ending. And what we're going to see here are doors opening up, new doors opening up. Chapters are ending, doors are closing. But new doors, new windows, new power moving us forward is opening up to us. We'll feel this very, very profoundly up into the 5th of May, which is the lunar eclipse. So that's going to be really quite intense. So here again, passion, creativity, we can be overwhelmed by it. We can be kind of rejecting it. We can be looking at things and saying, what even am I passionate about? What do I want? What do I need? That's kind of also how we can get in our own way. It doesn't have to be a very big thing, Capricorn. It could just be feeling a little bit despondent, a little bit overwhelmed, and not seeing the advantages that are coming to us, not seeing the opportunities that are coming to us during this time. But with the Ace of Wands reversed, it's almost like we're not shining a light into the darkness. We're looking in the darkness. And that can be absolutely beautiful for a new moon solar eclipse. That doesn't have to be a bad thing at all. Like we're looking into the darkness. And this is a time to set our intentions to say, this is what I want. This is what I'm heading for. This is what I desire. This is actually the best time to say, this is what I want. Because for some reason, you know that saying, like you throw spaghetti against the wall and see what sticks? Everything sticks. Everything that we want sticks during this time. And we start to see ourselves being like, oh, I can do that. Oh, I can do that. Oh, well, why don't I do this? And why don't I look at that? And oh, well, why don't I have this? So just know the energy here we're looking at the darkness. And even though we might not be really creative or really, you know, 
intensely driven to cultivate and move things forward the way that maybe other people think. We're, we're working it out. We're figuring it out. With the seven of pentacles, this is very much sit back and think. You know, it might be in opposition to the energy that we have of the new moon, which is like, go and act and do. And, you know, even the, the sun in Aries, it's like, go and act and do and create and, and you know, be courageous and, and move forward and new starts. Well, we're going to see it, Capricorn, as a new start starts in our mind. And that's going to be something very exciting for us to, you know, sit back and think and contemplate and insights and ideas to guide us. Don't get in your own way. But we're also really releasing a lot of negativity a lot of addictions, doubts, fears. You know, when we talk about addictions, this isn't just drug and alcohol and sex and food and, you know, shopping, those type of addictions. These are the addictions of self-doubt and negative talk and, you know, thinking that we can't or, or thinking it and never coming back to it type of thing. We're stopping very negative patterns in our lives, no matter how they manifest themselves. Even this can be negative addictions that we get you know, a lot of praise for. We can over-exercise. We can over, you know, eat right, you know, kind of over-clean eating type, type of thing. Be aware that even if people are praising it for, praising us for it, if it's negative, if it's negatively impacting us, it's not something good for our lives and for ourselves. And we're releasing it. We're becoming very aware of this during this time. With the world, we don't need the world to open up. We don't need to have the middle of everything. We don't need to be globe trotting and, you know, this and that. -ing. What we need is our own little world. We're looking at our world, what we are creating, what we are cultivating, what we desire. And it might sound very selfish and it, it, it can be, but this is our life. We get to be selfish with it. And the world opens to us and we start to see, we start to see more. It's not the world opening that like, oh, I'm going to be in the center of everything. It's like the world becomes smaller and I start to see what I love, what I want, where I belong, and what I desire for myself. It moves us to justice, which is also Libra energy. Things are coming into balance and we are finding that balance. We are cultivating that balance. That balance is moving us forward. We are seeing things be more just, more fair, more honest for us. And that's going to be a really good thing. This moon is making things more just for us and that is wonderful. It brings us to go deeper into what the moon has to say. Angels, and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading. And show me clearly, angels. And spirit guides, angels. And spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. So what's interesting here is that as we step into the darkness, right? And as we're not embracing the passions that are coming forward or the gifts that divinity are giving us, we're having a hard time with boundaries. And we're having a hard time surrendering to the divine, which is also where this creative energy can come from. So that is understandable. Be aware of this. Trust. We're having a bit of difficulty with trust. We're very good. We're contemplating. We're working things out with ideas, you know, writing things out, spreadsheets, notes that we're good at with. But trusting, just that innate kind of like leap of faith, we're not trustworthy. We're not trusting in. Don't let your past hold you back. That's going to be important. Don't let your past hold you back. We're realizing it. And we can also have a little bit of a hard time trusting that the past won't repeat itself. Faith. Have faith in yourself. Have faith in a releasing of negative, you know, patterns and habits. Show the world the real you. We're having difficulty with that. Saying, this is who I am. This is what I want. This is how I'm moving forward. Like it? Great. Don't like it? Okay, fine but we're having difficulty with it. We can feel a bit overwhelmed, like, well, what if? What if it's not enough? And it's not that they're rejecting just a piece of me, they're rejecting all of me. But what happens when people start accepting all of you? Have faith in yourself. Have faith in the world around you. 
the path, well, the path is wild. It's like, you know, this little crickety rat ladder up into a portal into space. Like, it's wild. But the world is opening up. In a way, I keep on saying the world is opening up because that's what spirit is showing me. The world is opening, but it is closing. Okay? The world is opening, but it is becoming more catered, more aligned with you. And you're finding your path leads you to the most extraordinary place, the most extraordinary way forward. A new romantic cycle begins. This is reversed. You can not be believing this, or you could be feeling like I'm not falling in love with anything right now. It's not anyone. Okay. It doesn't mean that it has to be a new romantic relationship, but it's like a new romantic cycle, falling in love with, embracing, you know, moving forward in passion too. We can think, oh, am I, am I doing this? Like, am I moving forward this way? You and your loved ones are safe. That's beautiful. Will we utilize this new moon? setting our intentions, deciding what we desire, you know, or looking at what we desire and say, I'm going for it now. Because that that's the extraordinary thing. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is a star. This is Aquarius energy. We need to be mindful of falling into just wishing for it. We need to be mindful of somebody using what we deeply wish for against us. Our subconscious message from spirit is mindful. We're not, we're not being mindful. We're kind of very much into this place of action. This is mindfulness reversed. So being mindful, being present, taking a breath, connecting with our bodies, with ourselves, that's going to be a very powerful, very important thing. Our subconscious, ooh, wait, our subconscious tarot message is judgment reversed. No, we're not judging ourselves. This isn't a time for being judged. This isn't a time also for going out, opening up, like, you know, pushing things forward that way. This is a time for standing proudly, but confidently in our small universe, you know, in our, in our place of existence and connecting with ourselves. It's like, first we connect with us, then we can connect with others. But this time, this time is for us. Our subconscious Luna message is acceptance. And it is time to release negativity. It is. But we have that reversed. We're wanting to hold on to our negativity. It's easier. It's easier than releasing it. Sometimes <clears throat> it's scary to release negativity. It's scary to release anger and frustration. And we embrace acceptance. We accept ourselves. We accept others. And we move forward. We can also accept our dis differences. Well, we will not agree on that, and that's fine. All right. All right, Capricorn. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Capricorn. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. May you absolutely enjoy and embrace this rare and powerful time. I love you all. Bye.